Since the IPOs, both Lyft and Uber down 33, down 35 percent. What do you make of the performance year to date? Uh, look, it's clear. Uh, first of all, thanks for having me. It's uh, it's clearly disappointing. Uh, you know, I think what Uber and Lyft uh, uh, part of the problem was that they were slow to detect and react to how investor expectations around uh, demonstrating a prof uh, path to profitability um, uh, would be clearer. And you know, investor sort of expectations shifted relatively quickly. Uber and Lyft were slow to react. Uh, didn't really necessarily communicate very clearly uh, that path. Uh, and investors punish them for it. I think the other thing that was interesting too here to keep in mind is, you know, we've seen lots over the years, lots of high growth companies uh, that went public uh, when they weren't yet making money, but the IPOs were still relatively successful. I think in, in Uber and Lyft's case, and Uber's in particular, the sheer magnitude of the losses uh, were something that investors uh, struggled with. And I think that was uh, a large function of, you know, how long these companies were private for before they decided to go public. Yeah, Egal, your take on the 33, 35% drop. Yeah, I think what you saw out of the market this year uh, over the course of the year was uh, less of a, of a willingness from public market investors to accept uh, large losses and, and on profitability. Really a, a kind of a record-setting year with tech IPOs. Uber and Lyft were ones that, that you know kind of led the class. Um, and I think... All, all of that kind of IPO supply led to some technical challenges. Um, you also had Lyft and Uber and others that the, the, the trend kind of turned to stay private for longer. I think that uh, sucked up some some of the the, the demand when, when they came public. Uh, there were a lot of uh, lockups that, that, that expired, and that led to, to a lot of supplies. So there were a lot of tech, technical uh, issues at play, I think, as well. And, look, Lyft and Uber – kept facing um, headwinds and negative news. There was a, a, a lot of the, the regulatory issues, uh, the, uh, the, the, the London problems, and, and, and other things that, that they disclosed over the course of the year, and that kept sentiment low. Um, you know, we'll look to see if that can, can flip uh, over the course of 2020.